This is a story called Please Don't Take My Children Away. Anna is a young single mum of twin girls, Isla and Esme, age five. Anna is an, an alcoholic and a drug addict, and to feed her habit, she works as a prostitute, leaving the twins home alone at night and bringing all kinds of men back to her house. Anna knows who the twins' dad is, but she won't allow him to see them. The twins know that they have a daddy, but they don't know who he is. One night when Anna brought a man back to the house, the twins were awake and they went downstairs to see who their mum was talking to. Esme asked Anna, Mummy, who's that man? Anna told them, This is just a friend of mine, girls. Be good girls and go back to bed. The twins did as they were told, but the man was still there when they got up for school the next morning. Anna said to them, Girl, this is my friend, John. Say hi. The girls didn't like John from the start. <coughs> he said to them, Well, it's nice to meet you, girls. The twins refused to speak to him. Isla said, Mummy, is that man going to be here when we come home from school? I don't know, Isla. Come on, go to school now, both of you. It's me, asked. Mummy, aren't you ta taking us to school? No, you're big girls now. Take yourself to school. I'm busy and I haven't got time. The girls took themselves to school for the first time ever. When they got there, their teacher... When they got there, their teacher, Miss, Miss Hunter, asked them, Girls, where's your mummy? Ace Miss Hunter. Mummy wouldn't bring us today because she didn't have time. Mummy couldn't bring us today because she didn't have time. What do you mean your mummy didn't have time to bring you to school? Is she sick? No, she's not sick, she's just busy. Girls, you shouldn't be coming to school on your own, it's not safe. Will your mummy be picking you up after school? We don't know, miss. Okay, girls, go into class, please. That day when school finished, the twins had to make their own way home. When they got there, Hannah was nowhere to be seen. The girls had to stay at home alone. <coughs> that night, the girls were home alone from when they got home from school to the next day. For four days, the girls were left home alone. They had to make their own way to and from school. The only meal they got was their school dinner. Their teacher, Miss Hunter, noticed that the twins were filthy and their hair hadn't been brushed for days and it was matted and filthy. Girls, why have you come to school looking like this? Where's your mum? The twins started crying and Isla said, We don't know where our mummy is. Miss Hunter knew that she had to take action. She took the twins to the headmistress, Mrs. Neal, and she called social services. When social services went to see Anna, she told them that she would look after the girls and she would stop drinking and taking drugs. Social services put the girls on the at-risk register and told Anna that they would be visiting her weekly to make sure that she was taking care of the twins. They even helped her to cut back on drinking and to get off the drugs. After six months, social services decided that Hannah was doing really well, so they took the twins off the at-risk register. However, about three months later, the twins started turning up at school dirty again and had started bringing themselves to school again. This time, when social services went to see Hannah, they told her that they had no choice but to take the twins into care. Hannah denied Hannah cried and said, Please don't take my children away. I love them. They're my babies. The social worker said, You started leaving them home alone and neglecting them. The twins are clearly unhappy here. We know that you work as a prostitute and that you bring strange men back when the twins are in the house. Please don't take my children away. I swear I'll do better. I'll change. I swear I will. Please. Please don't take my children away. 
Look, Kenna, we've given you lots of chances, but every time you go back on the groups and continue working as a prostitute, I'm sorry, but we've given you enough chances. The twins are coming with us. No, please don't take my children away. I promise I'll change. Then Hannah ran out of the house and grabbed the twins. The social worker had to fry them out of her hands with the help of the police. The twins were taken to a foster home and they were really happy there. After the twins had been in their foster home for two and a half years, social services found out that Hannah had had two more that Hannah had two more kids, both boys, Carson, who was almost two, and baby Miles was only a week old. They two were being neglected and left on their own. Social services asked the twins foster parents if they would take the babies and of course they agreed. When the babies were, were being taken away, Hannah cried saying, Please don't take my children away. They're my babies and I love them. This time her pleas were ignored. About a year later the foster parents applied to adopt all four kids and their application went through. They are all very happy where they are and their birth mother was sent to jail for child neglect and drug related crimes. She is not allowed to have any form of contact with the kids until they are 18. They are all happy in their new home and the twins are doing really well in school. They are in high school now, approaching their third year. Carson is now in primary school and Miles will be starting school in September. When the twins grow up, Esme wants to join the police force and Isla wants to be a high school teacher. Their foster parents already had three daughters of their own when the twins went to live with them. Their eldest daughter Zoe is a vet. Their middle daughter Claire is a beautician with her own successful business. And their youngest daughter Marie is a solicitor. They all have two kids each. The end. Thank you.